Now let's create a custom turn tool insert. The model shown already has cam data. We will edit a bore operation so that it will utilize a custom turn tool. In this case, we will apply the custom turn tool to the rough bore operation. For time management, the desired turn insert has already been defined in a SOLIDWORKS sketch part. We use the same quadrant location as we did when creating a custom mill tool. Note the origin of the sketch. This will be the drive point for the insert. For a turn insert, we will extrude the sketch using SOLIDWORKS extrude function rather than revolve. The extrude direction in this case is below the origin point. And the extrude extruded value represents the insert thickness, which is a key dimension to remember when establishing the technology database inputs. As with the mill tool, we will save the SOLIDWORKS part file for the turn insert. For this exercise, we will use a user-defined folder location rather than the CAMWORKS default folder. The turn tool insert file extension is .cwtt. We will now define the, the tool assembly in the CAMWORKS technology database. We'll go back to the part and we'll open the TechDB from here. We'll start by defining the insert. Select the tooling button, then the turn tooling button, and then the insert button. And from there, select the user defined button. Here's where we will insert the thickness of the insert and enter any comments and descriptions that help define the custom turn tool. As with the custom mill tool, we will need to point to the file for the custom insert. Once you click the open, ensure that the field is populated with the correct file. Now we want to define the holder that is used for this insert. In this case, a boring bar holder will be used. An existing defined holder can be used, or you can create a new holder by entering the desired values. We will select the user defined boring bar holder that is already created. Then, going to the turn tool assemblies, we will now build a turn tool. Start by selecting the insert type, in this case, user defined. Then select the insert. When you click close, ensure that the insert description has populated the field. Now choose the holder type, which is a boring bar, and select the desired boring bar holder. Again, ensure that the holder description has populated the field after clicking OK. We can add comments to help describe the new turn tool and to help find it within the list after completing the, the definition process. When finished, make sure that you click the pencil icon and that confirms the uh, completed inserted information and click OK. We can now back out of the technology database and go back to the part file. From the CAMWORKS operation tree, we will open the operation definition for the rough bore operation. From here, we will add the custom tool, the custom turn tool to our tool crib and select it for the rough bore operation. Here we're adding the turn tool and it's going to look into the default library.
This is where adding specific tool comments becomes helpful. The turning tool list is not in any defined or sorted format. It may take a while to find the tool that you have created. So look for key comments and key parameters. You can select and highlight it, hit OK, which will populate our, our tool crib. And from there, we can select the inserted custom turn tool. The message concerning the holder orientation is Camwork's way of letting you know the holder's original orientation is incorrect for this operation and that it will adjust it accordingly. Click OK on the message window. When we first view the custom turn tool, the insert is embedded into the holder. We can adjust this by changing the X and Z values. Watch the movement of the insert as these values are edited. These settings will help avoid holder collisions. Create a setting that represents your tooling. Other key settings to verify are the hand of cut and holder edge. Now let's step through the operations toolpath using the newly defined turn tool. While we step through the toolpath, we can observe any potential interference or other concerns related to the tool description, such as tool holder clearance, as well as the turn tool insert length or protrusion. We can also run the toolpath simulation to view any gouges or excess material. This completes our webinar on custom tool creation for Camworks. Thank you for joining us.